<laughs> you get Just a dip. Do that. And you get a dip. And you oh, get a dip. I like that. Hey, I'm all for the dips. I am too. Bring it's on my the favorite. dips. Michelle Dudash, it's so good to see you. So good to see okay, you. Okay, um, hey, best Christmas gift you've ever given or received. Oh. Oh my goodness. On I'm on the spot. I know, I'm so oh, sorry. You know, oh, I know. Well, okay. okay. The, I guess two. One was a knife block. For okay. my, it was like this huge, my knives were like in crazy disarray. The other one was this gigantic computer monitor. Uh -huh. Because we spend so much time, at least I do, typing recipes. Yes. yes. And doing the social media. Yes. And my husband told, like, I, I didn't ask for it. I didn't mention it. And yeah. I didn't even know I needed it. And then yeah. once I had it, You're I like, was oh, so I'm in love. excited. And very ergonomically correct. I might well. take a moment very quickly. <laughs> And that was so important to you. <laughs> for all of you watching at home, and if you're still struggling for a gift, I would say I'd still want someone to do this for me. I think one of the most meaningful gifts is to go to Grandma and have Grandma write down all of her old recipes yeah. or some that are family favorites and put yes. them together in a recipe book with her handwriting. I just think something like that is so special. I agree. Yeah. I agree because those recipes can very easily get lost. Yeah. In yeah. fact, you know, I, my, my second cookbook... Um, I have a lot of my grandma's. Well, actually, my first book, too. Oh, that's sweet. And so I, it took a lot to, like, track those down. Yeah. Who has the recipes? Yeah. So I think it's so many worth, people. It's worth, but I, I know it would be so it worth, worth it. it. Okay, sure. let's get to dips yes. now. Yeah, okay. dipping it up. Okay, so you know I am all about easy but impressive. Yes. And because we are all busy, and um, so what I created this year was the sh a Christmas charcuterie board, but Love with it. my addition of Spice Kick dips. Okay. So the first one is um, my spinach and artichoke dip. And I created these. Actually, I had a holiday pop-up um, a few weeks ago, and mm -hmm. these are the dips that I that I prepared. So I, this, I think spinach dip, it, I feel like it's a hit. I know uh, there are some people that don't like spinach. Gallons of it. But don't you think it's so different yes. when I, it's in a dip? I totally agree. I have converted many people eating vegetables when just if you change the preparation method. So yeah. I already have cream cheese that I whipped. I added the frozen spinach that was microwaved. These are chopped artichoke hearts. Okay, that makes a big difference. It does. You don't have to get out your cutting board for right. any of these dips. Which so it I just think comes like this in a can. Yes, exactly. And Recipe they're pretty ready. easy to find. This is sour cream. Now what I did, I, this is more veggie forward and a little less of the cream cheese and the sour cream. Okay. Just because I think it's a nice way to get your veggies. But hey, if you want to add more mayo and uh, cream cheese, <laughs> you, get, you, you do that. Yeah. <laughs> All the cream cheese. Yeah. So we just add that it so we'll get this mixing okay and then the seasoning is my tuna salad seasoning mix oh, okay. from spice kick of course and so this has chives and lemon zest and onion Ooh, and garlic and celery and mustard so it has all your seasonings and that is literally all that goes into this dip. What so I, it's oh, I'm sorry, Cody. No, it's, okay. it's the tuna salad packet. Yeah, yes. that's what I was going to say. Exactly. I love that. That's so they're interesting. Yes. So this, I I put this on all my seafood and all my veggies. You because, just because it's great with tuna mm -hmm. salad. I use it in so many other things. Isn't it things. nice that you can do that? So yeah. Just for one thing. Exactly. It's yes. Brilliant. Yeah. Exactly. So you just pop the whole one in there. And then um, you let that go for a couple, um, you know, you can make this go a little faster. And then the finished one is here. And then I like to top it off with some scallions or chives like or anything bright green. I like that. Pretty. Okay. Then the next dip that we have, I already browned the beef here. This is my meaty queso. Okay. Oh, and yeah. I have, you oh, can, you can it, never it go wrong insane. with it. You can. So you guys, dip. It is insane. So I, and I keep leveling it up by adding just Look a couple this. more things. Yummy. So what I did is I browned oh, half a pound of ground beef. You know, this is like a meal. I know. I love it. Um, dip for dinner. dinner. That's a thing. <laughs> oh, man. So good. Um, so we add uh, half a packet of my taco seasoning mix from Spice Kick, a little bit of water. And so you see the onions are in there, the cumin, the oregano, all those seasonings. Buy a container of your queso and just any refrigerate. I like the refrigerated kind. I think it yeah. just has a nice fresh taste. And then I stirred in some cream cheese. Mm -hmm. um, I stirred in some diced canned tomatoes. Look how hearty this yeah, is. Oh like you said, it's a meal. It's gonna get. We're getting our protein in this. I love it. Serve it with your tortilla chips, and then of course your little mini. Uh, yeah, that's cute. I the, I use that thing all the time. So yeah, I use it I all bet. the time. I so bet. I highly recommend. Hold it on warm though, so it stays the perfect okay. temperature. Okay. And then my last recipe. This is um. It's a spice kick whipped ricotta Ooh. bruschetta board. Bruschetta. 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 So what I did here. This is ricotta cheese. And then, which I buy the whole milk. I figure it's the holidays. Yeah. You know, let's, right. make, let's give <laughs> yeah, it some rich yeah. mouth taste. I add in half a packet of my Spice Kick marinara seasoning, okay. which has 
the onion, all your all your Italian flavors. So you you will I'll stir this together quickly, but you whip this in your again in your throw this in your KitchenAid. Mm -hmm. It's ready in a couple minutes, and then you spread it in your platter over here, and then I will take a whole pint of tomatoes. This just looks so half yummy. Half them, yep, have them. And then what you do, the finishing touch, of course, is the extra virgin olive oil, oh, which yes, just so makes tea. this so, it's like, it's like, affor I like to use affordable luxury, right? It's like, <laughs> it's like, look at this. It's oh. so amazing. This was actually devoured at my holiday pop-up. I think this was probably the most popular one. So if you're like, hmm, what can I try? Oh, this is also going to be devoured. Well, that's going to so get devoured, too. <laughs>